When the Witch Queen comes in February, we know all the seasonal content will go away. The problem is all the elemental wells that have been released this year are tied to seasonal items. I know there are many of you who suffered through missing some of the War Miner Charge of Light mods in the past and now have to wait for the magic week that one of those missing show up. There are some key mods that you need to power your Elemental Well builds, and in this video we will go over the best mods from this year, how to get them, and what they do and how they can best power up your Elemental Well build so you can prepare for the Witch Queen. So to begin, let's start with the first seasonal content that we got this season, and that was the War Table. The War Table is a new seasonal event location deployed with Season of the Chosen. This was the first place that we could pick up Elemental Well mods. To play this, you must have Season of the Chosen, which means you have to either have the deluxe version of Beyond Light, or you need to buy the season now. The War Table does not require any upgrades to obtain mods. There are a total of six mods, and they are sold two a week, meaning you need three weeks to get them all. Every mod from the War Table is foundational, so you should get them all. Let's go over what some of those mods are. So first off, there's Elemental Charge. This allows you to get Charges of Light when you pick up Elemental Wells. Picking up any Elemental Well gives you one charge. Picking up one that matches your subclass burn gives you two. This is absolutely necessary if you want to add Charge of Light mods like Protective Light to your Elemental Well builds. Elemental Armaments. This allows you to get Wells from Weapon Kills on enemies. You gain these wells at an escalating chance when you get kills with a weapon that matches your elemental burn. And again, this chance escalates when you kill better enemies. So if you kill yellow bars or things like that, you have a higher chance than if you just hit red bar enemies. Again, really good to get this because you can spam wells from just playing the game and getting weapon kills. Elemental Light. Gain elemental wells on kills with your super. The wells drop with the same burn as your subclass burn. Again, not needed for all builds, but you can be a w great way to support yourself and your fire team in various builds. Elemental Ordnance. Spawn an Elemental Well when you get grenade kills. The well that spawn matches your subclass burn. Really great for grenade enabled builds and again allows you to gain wells based on playing the game. Font of Might. Picking up a well that matches your subclass burn gains you a 25% damage to weapon damage that matches that burn for 10 seconds. This was buffed this season and is just an incredible mod to add additional damage and stack on other mods for DPS. Font of Wisdom. Picking up a well that matches your subclass burn gains you increased intellect and super generation for 30 seconds. Basically, this brings your intellect to 100 for 30 seconds. Again, this will allow you to generate super energy and can allow you to deprioritize intelligence in your armor build out so you can concentrate on other things. Next are the mods from the Splicer Servitor. Again, the Splicer Servitor is the in the helm and what's the seasonal activity from the Season of Splicer? Well, duh. To gain access to the mods in the season, you need to rank up your seasonal reputation by doing challenges within the season and opening chests within the override activity. You will also need to own the Season of the Splicer or the Deluxe version Beyond Light. The mods in this season are situational based on different builds, but some of them are really good. I'm going to go over the ones that I think are really key to get. Again, check out all the mods, see if they fit a build that you're using. It's pretty easy to hit level 10 to do all of them, so you can grab them all, but I'm just going to go over what I think are the best that you definitely need. Reaping Well Maker. This Void mod allows you to spawn a Void Well when you get an enemy final blow after activating your class ability. This seems like a niche mod, and to some extent it is. But say you're on your Hunter, this will allow you to spell well, spam wells based on frequently dodging, which is your class ability. I go over a setup like this in another build I have. Again, situational but worth the effort to get it. You get this on Reputation Level 1. Well of Tenacity. This Void mod allows you to gain 10% damage per section, for six seconds when you pick up a void well. Again, I use this mod in another previous build. It is definitely a great mod to get if you're doing a void based build and it pairs well with some of the ones I just previously talked about. You get this at reputation level two. Well of Life, this is a solar mod that when you pick up a solar well for 10 seconds, you basically regenerate health. This isn't health reduction. This is actually slowly giving you health back. This is a really key mod to have in end game activities when you're under leveled or in a mode where you don't get native health regeneration like certain nightfalls. I use this mod in another build that I have, and I love it. You get this at rank 5. Well of Ions. When you pick up an Arc Well, you gain increased melee damage to your next melee hit. This buff is 30% and stacks well with other damage buffs. I use this in another one of my builds, and it's crazy how can it help with add clearing and yellow bar DPS. You get this from rank level 8. There are other mods in Caesar Splicer that you can use, but these are the but again, they're very situational, and these are the ones that I definitely think are key portions, the ones I already talked about that you can use in a lot of builds. So I would definitely focus on these first. Finally, there's a Wayfinder Compass, which is part of Season Loss. Again, you need to own Season Loss or the deluxe version of Beyond Light. There's again a reputation barrier to getting all of these mods. There's a rotation of three mods each week and they've been purchased at level one, level five, or level 15. 
To get to level 15, it works very much like the previous seasons when completing challenges. Most of these surround the seasonal activities and completing items in those and advancing the seasonal storyline. There's also rotation, so you'll need to come back multiple weeks to get mods. Once complete, you can get all of these, but here are the ones I would focus on. Melee Wellmaker. When you kill an enemy with a powered melee kill, you drop a well that matches your subclass burn. This is an incredible mod to pair with other mods in this list to spam melee kills, well regeneration, and melee regeneration. I have several builds built around this specific mod. Seeking Wells. This is an arc mod that when you drop a well, the well will follow you for a short distance. And the distance is actually fairly sizable. This is a mod that can allow some elemental well mod builds to be utilized in high-end content where you need to be in cover. Well of Striking. This is another arc mod that allows you to get melee energy when you pick up element arc elemental wells. Again, I have an ad clearing build specifically designed around this. And as long as you find synergy with other arc portions of a build, this can really pair well with Melee Wellmaker to allow you to just spam abilities constantly. Well of Ordnance. This is a solar mod that allows you to gain grenade energy when picking up a solar well. Again, you, uh, similar to what you did with other mods I've talked about previously, this can allow you to basically spam abilities and get your grenade back really quickly. So again, it's situational, depends on the build, but it's definitely something that's useful. Elemental Shards. This is a stasis mod that allows you to utilize shards the same way you do wells. First off, this is the first stasis mod, so you will need to begin collecting stasis burn armor or convert some pieces over. This is absolutely a must-have mod for any stasis ability-based build. If you have the correct setup on mods, like many of the builds I've done this season, you will generate shards constantly. Then these act like stasis wells, so you can have an almost infinite well generation possibility in stasis-powered builds. Again, I have numerous builds using this, and if you're running stasis, this is a must-have mod, period. Elemental Time Dilation. This is a stasis mod that allows you to stack time-based effects from elemental well mods. This can come in really handy, allowing you to gain extra damage bonus, extra health regen, or super regen for longer. In many cases, you can extend these regen periods infinitely. Now, it is expensive in that you need this mod, as well as two of another mod, for it to work, but it is definitely situational and definitely useful in certain builds. So again, there are other mods that can help you out with the Elemental Well builds, but these are the highlights. I would work to get as many of these as you can prior to Witch Queen because after that, you will probably be in a random rotation with other mods and it may take you months to grab that perfect mod for you to use. There's an upcoming reboot of Void subclasses to make them closer to stasis and build out with fragments and aspects. So I expect to enable some crazy build, ability-based builds and if you don't have these mods, you'll be at a disadvantage when Witch Queen comes. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, jump into my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.